are you guys doing? Hey, Steve. Good. good. Steve. How are you? I'm doing really good. I want to start with, uh, when was the last time a director told you, we really need you to get this in one take? <laughs> I've never heard that. Thank God. I'm like, what? <laughs> Neither have I. Because uh, uh-uh, that's that's pressure. I mean, I, pressure. I've done something where I've gotten it in one take. Mm-hmm. But if he had told me prior to filming that we needed it in one take, uh, uh, uh-uh. <laughs> it's too much pressure. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I think people love learning about like the behind the scenes of the making of a movie. So, what do you think would surprise people to learn about the making of Tomorrow War? Definitely probably uh, the the training that we went through. We really went through uh, some of the same training that, you know, military people in the military Mm -hmm. go through. Our uh, trainer, Harry Humphreys, was actually in the military. And so we we learned how to move as a team, uh, how to shoot guns, how to clear a room. So, you know, if ever something went down, we'd be able to take down some bad guys in a really tall building. Um, (laughs) I think that's that's one thing. And and filming in Iceland. you know, we actually went to Iceland and shot on one of the like largest glaciers, I think, in Europe. That's and great. can't there's something that's really cool that happens on top of the glacier that we were able to do um, as well. I can't give it away, but that's definitely amazing in, in a time where, you know, CGI definitely is taking over, like to actually yeah. go and shoot there. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. The, the thing that I found about this movie is it pulls a bad boys, too, in which that I thought the movie was over. But then there's a whole nother section to the film. Uh, Can you sort of talk about that, that I think people might not be expecting this movie? I think, you know, it just gives, just gives it another life and it doesn't, it keeps it from, you know, being predictable. You know, we always want stuff to be unpredictable. So I think that's really the, 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 the greatest thing about it because you're right after whatever happens in (laughs) <laughs> the movie is just like oh is that it you know what I'm saying so no that definitely it just adds a whole nother life to it for sure I, I like to think of this as like the ultimate roller coaster ride so mm. as soon as you think the roller coaster is done it just like speeds off again and, and takes you on another journey yeah, I'm curious what did you guys think when you first saw J.K. Simmons I'm not sure when you saw him on set if you saw him on set because just to me when I saw him I'm like oh he could just beat all the aliens on his own <laughs> <laughs> He definitely looked badass. It was crazy. Yeah, did. I, I didn't get to I didn't get to work with him on set, but it was it was cool when I seen it. It was just like, yo, J.K. Simmons looks like a badass. This yeah. is fire. I'm in a movie with J.K. Simmons. Right. Super badass. But when yeah. I first saw him, I was like, oh, he seems like a really cool guy. Like he was so open and fun and just, hey guys, what's up? You know? And then once he turned on his character, I was like, oh, <laughs> that's the OG actor right there. I just always think about him in Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's what it> <laughs> <is>. <laughs> Completely. One of the things about this film is that it was originally going to be released by Paramount in theaters, <clears throat> and now it's coming out basically Fourth of July weekend on Amazon. And I'd argue a lot more people are going to watch this movie because it's going to be on Amazon. Can you sort of talk about that? I love that you argue that. Argue that. <laughs> I love that. You think otherwise? No. Oh, okay. I, 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 I actually don't. You know, I'm kind of in question. I'm like, yeah. It's a, it's it's a, you don't it's a it's a great movie. You don't want to miss it, but it's like, I've loved that you feel that way. Cause I, that's what we want. We want so many people to watch it. And that's, that's, right. that's the beautiful thing about streaming is the access people have. Yes. And I didn't, it didn't even, it didn't even, I didn't even think about it being out for the July weekend, basically. So I didn't even, I didn't put two and two together. I, July 2nd, I'm like, Oh yeah, July 4th coming up. That's amazing. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I mean, I, I know that a lot of people are home that weekend, and this is a this is a big mm-hmm. summer movie that you can watch for free in your living room. For yeah. sure. And it's a safe way to celebrate, you know, uh, Independence Day and a good time to just bring the whole family together and mm-hmm. um, a hug on your loved ones and, and just have fun. Mm-hmm. I, I am curious for both of you. What is it like fighting aliens that are basically not there? I mean, are, do you have to like... Is it sort of like reliving being an eight-year-old with your imagination? Yeah, that's yeah, exactly literally right. Literally what it is. <laughs> that's no, exactly right. For sure. That's literally what it, uh, no, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly right. You hit it right on the head. <laughs> you definitely did. Can you, can you sort of share a little bit, though, about filming those scenes and, and filming, like, just, I guess you could talk about filming some of those scenes. It's, I know for, like, it, I know for me, you know, I had a reaction moment in it. And it's literally like nothing there. You know what I'm saying? You got to really like, you got to really imagine it. You, 
it's weird. You know, it, you put people in situations. We watch a lot of movies. We have, we've all been through a lot of feelings. And I think sometimes no matter what setting you're in, a feeling is a feeling, you know? So if I'm shocked, terrified, whatever, at, you know, a clown at a birthday party, <laughs> I know it's not the same stakes as an alien coming at you, but you know that feeling and you know you could turn that feeling up. So that's how I look at it. Like, yeah. it's I, it's not there, but I mean, that's where our imagination, but we've been training for this our whole yeah. life. We didn't even know it. For sure. And I, <laughs> I think what was, sometimes I couldn't even picture the alien in front of me. So I would just picture somebody who's made me really, really mad that I never got a chance to like, you know, express my feelings to. And I just put them there and go, ah, you know, with a gun mm-hmm. or something. Not that I want to shoot them at all. That's is that Meisner? Me. Is that but... Meisner technique? Yeah, is it? <laughs> <laughs> what, one of the things that uh, it's really tough nowadays to make an original story that isn't based on existing IP. And this is an original story. Can you sort of talk about that? This is something that people haven't seen before. It's a completely original thing. That's what made me fall in love with it. Honestly, once I heard, once I read the premise, I was just like, oh, yeah, this is this is fire. Mm-hmm. What? Drafting people from the past or the present to the future to fight a war. That's 30 years in the future of what it was. That's mm-hmm. like, I mean, that's, I was like, this is, this is it. Like, this is, this is what I, this is the type of stuff I want to be a, a part of. For sure. And it was, it was cool too, because it speaks a lot um, to today's times, I think with, you know, how we have to rely on science to sort of help mm-hmm. um, save uh, humanity. And also I think what was cool and original about this film is that the women were just as badass and in power as the men were. So there wasn't necessarily some sort of egoic power struggle yeah. that had to happen between the two sexes because everybody's on the same page mm-hmm. and we're just here to save humanity. So yeah. I thought that was really original too. I also am a big fan of Larry Fong, who is your cinematographer. Can you guys talk a little bit about working with Larry and maybe what surprised you, what impressed you? Larry's a musician, a, a magician. Yeah, nah. <laughs> he is a, no, like not with the camera. He's like an actual magician. <laughs> he was like doing card <laughs> tricks and things. I like watching him on set. Like he's so in his zone. Yeah. Like he's like, he's like locked in. Yeah. And I'm just like, I, I for me, it's just, I'm just happy to be here. Like, this is crazy to just work with him and, you know, hopefully work with him more in the future. I thought just him in his own was just amazing to me. Yeah, he's genius, though, yeah. with what he does. He's, yeah. Ugh, yeah. He, yeah, he's kind of talented. Now, as, as as actors, do you pay attention to, like, the lenses and stuff that they're using so you know, like, where the camera's going to be? Or how much are you sort of just like, I can't think about that. I got to focus on the performance. Sometimes for me. It's sometimes. Uh, I think I got into it more. There was a, a film that I, I shot after this one, and... um. I started paying attention to it more because I mean, someday I would love to be behind the camera. So, Mm -hmm. and I think it's also important as an actor to know how wide or tight the Mm -hmm. shot is. So if you know what lens they're using, you, you know, you know how much wiggle room you have in terms of um, movement and things like that. So, yeah. On that note, I got to stop. I'm just going to say congrats. Hope it's a huge hit. I know everyone's going to watch July 4th. Uh, Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. much. Have a good one. I appreciate you.